So the PNS paper is a follow-up, um, but also it's evolving a story about a molecule called CD47. CD47 is a molecule which is surprisingly expressed on normal tissues, but it's expressed on all cancers we have checked so far. Yeah, so we tested uh, whether or not CD47 could be a therapeutic antibody target. So if we use anti-CD47 antibodies that block the ability of CD47 to bind to its receptor on macrophages, uh, they're no longer able to transmit this don't eat me signal and they are immediately eaten up by the macrophages. So in all the experiments we did in the paper, we used patient tumor samples we got directly from the hospital here at Stanford University. Um, and first we did a bunch of experiments in vitro uh, where we showed that if we mix those cells with macrophages, uh, in the presence of anti-CD47 antibody, the macrophages would just spontaneously eat the tumor cells. Uh, for a lot of the different tumors, we also implanted them into mice. Uh, and when we started to treat the mice either with a control antibody or the anti-CD47 antibody, uh, we noticed that the anti-CD47 antibody can dramatically inhibit tumor growth. We could show that when the tumor is small or at least wouldn't exceed a certain size, it, com it could completely remove the disease from the mouse as you would like to do in the patient. If the tumor reaches a certain size, he could at least slow down the disease. But what was really, really interesting to us and something which is different to leukemia because you could monitor it in those diseases is if you have a tumor which would give rise to metastasis and you treat with this antibody which blocks the interaction in between CD47 and serb alpha, you could prevent the formation of metastasis. Yeah, so as a therapeutic agent for treating humans, uh, there are some challenges uh, that are going to be there because CD47 is present not only on the cancer cells but also on normal, healthy, non-tumor cells. Uh, so the potential for toxicity is probably slightly higher than other cancer-specific antibody targets. In all the studies we have done, we have seen very limited side effects, which is almost just restricted to a transition loss of red cells. So that means you give the drug, and after giving the drug the first time, you will see a drop in the red cell count, but that's transient. So they will come up back, even if you do repetitive dosing. So we don't think that's a major issue. When we looked at all the tissues in the animals we treated, we haven't seen any major tissue toxicity. But from the experience we have so far, we're very, very confident that this is going to be a therapy eventually. Yeah, so as far as we know, this is the only therapeutic target on the cell surface of all cancer cells, whether they be leukemias, lymphomas, or solid tumors. Um, there hasn't been another target like this that we're aware of. When Stephen and we started, we thought we might get lucky and find a few solid tumors where CD47 indeed might be important as it is in leukemias and lymphomas. But nobody um, would have expected that this could, apply, could be applied to all tumors. So eventually, now we're convinced that even the few tumors we haven't looked at, they will be CD47 positive as well. But that has changed over time. When we started, we really thought it's like two or three tumors maybe. Then with each new tumor where we discovered CD47 is expressed at very high levels, we weren't that much surprised anymore. But overall, that's, that's a huge surprise to, I guess, all of us. Because who could imagine that there is one molecule which is important in all cancers? I think there might be some very interesting drugs out there. There might be a lot of good therapies. But I couldn't imagine, or at least I'm not aware of any, which might eventually target all tumors.